It can happen in an instant. <laughs> Clouds move in, bringing with them tornadoes and thunderstorms. That is why, in the wake of Severe Weather Week, Bloomer Elementary students are learning the importance of practicing for the real thing. Today we practice one of our disaster drills in case of severe weather um, here at Bloomer Elementary. The drills take place March 29th. Students walk in a single file, making their way to the fully insulated basement, keeping every child safe and sound. But now that we've done it several times, they do a great job of getting down and listening to the directions of the staff members. Another huge role in protecting every child is early detection of a threat. With the amount of technology that we have today, we're often aware of um, storms and other severe weather moving in um, ahead of time into our area. That's why Fire Marshal Curtis McKeon is hoping to educate the public on the importance of Severe Weather Week and how to be prepared. We try to explain to the public and remind the public the difference between watch and warning and the different conditions and uh, expectations that they should have for severe weather events. As Fire Marshal, Curtis is responsible for working with the Public Education Department, alerting them through the use of weather radios. One of the first things that you can do to prepare before is to have a weather radio. Weather radios can be set off remotely. They'll turn on and they'll give you that advance notice that you're going to need. Keeping not only every student safe, but every resident in Council Bluffs. Along with our, our weather radios, uh, through email communication, um, and we even have our radio system that can help alert us to weather. With severe weather season fast approaching, it's important that everyone is alert to what is going on in the sky. With CBTV 17, I'm Colette Stellinga.